do too. All right, so I got some brass and I got my fence up that I just set up. And uh, the Gibbs are at uh, 0.24 and I've got my fence set at 0.26. Should give me enough room. And uh, here's a piece of brass that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And then I'll have to figure out a way to put it in the mill to get my angles right. But I'm gonna go ahead and start and cutting this. And, uh, and I'm gonna go all the way down. And then we can probably cut this in half and make two of them. Um, so anyway, let's just see how it goes. Uh, this is the new fence with a new table and the new cat. And there we go. As you can see, this fan may not be the quickest thing. If I had a lightsaber from Star Wars, it may work better. So anyway, this could probably get boring pretty quick. All right, so anyway, uh, I was doing this and my fence started moving, so I didn't have it tight enough. I'm tightening it back up and I got the dimensions right, and we're gonna have to kind of recut it back some more. So here we go. I know that's moving my saw blade just a little bit, but I think I'm back on track here a little bit. It's not the fastest thing. It's not going to take a whole minute or anything. Probably a lot more than that. But anyways, uh, we'll come back when we get closer to the end. So anyway, I noticed that I was cutting this, this brass was spreading out like a piece of wood. It's kind of weird. I didn't expect it, didn't know. But anyway, I was going to just clamp it up a little bit and hope that it doesn't bite the bit. I mean, I would have never expected this. Never. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and run like this for a bit, and then when we get close to the end, we'll let you know. Got a little oil on the blade. About two thirds of the way through, I'm guessing. And this sucker's crooked as all get out. Good thing I got the mill to straighten it out, but I gotta find something flat that will do an angle. Uh, I have a, I have a vise. I don't know how well that's gonna work. But anyways, uh, I'm going to keep working on through this. I'll probably turn it around here in just a second and go the other direction. Okay, I've spun it around now. We're going to start in on the other side. We've got about two or three inches here. I would have never expected this. surprising I would never expect this to do this like a split like that I mean I just expected it to cut straight I would you know I don't know uh, we're getting close to the end where they're gonna split here pretty quick but in the end I'm gonna have a bent piece of brass and then I can cut it down to as long as the or a little bit over what I need for the gib and straighten it out I just really didn't expect what I'm seeing, if you see this gap over here, it's like crazy. 
I would have expected it to cut straight. You can see the, the vice grips on the side there. There we go, we, we have separated. But right, go ahead and I'll stop it here. Look at this bin. I would have never expected that, never. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna probably find my dimensions here, cut this in half and straighten it out. We'll be right back with you. Again, so I didn't expect it to bend, but it did bend. But I think the next step before straightening it out is cut it. I'm gonna cut a little oversize. And then what's left will go become this gib here. Man, I tell you, this is really weird. I did not expect this at all. But before I straighten it, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this line on it, cut it there, and what's left will become the other gib, and then we'll have to straighten this out. All right, so where's my mark at? Here it is, here's my mark. So this thing is just bent. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it on the line. As you can see, now we've got some straightening to do. Uh, I'll work that out on the hammer and the uh, on the vise. So we'll head on over there and show you that. See, when I cut it, it bent the brass. Um, I got it here on the long part of the vise. I'm gonna just try to straighten it out a little bit. I don't know how well I'll do. I, th I think what I may do is just bring this over here into the vise here and get it eye straight because it's definitely, there's a curve to it. <laughs> Sam, how many times I gotta tell you, man? You can't be making noises while I'm filming, dude. I didn't know you were filming. Okay, well I am filming, okay? Damn it! Don't! So let's put it on the back of the vise now. Does it look a little straighter now? Or is there still humps? Okay, that's looking straighter. The good thing about knowing that it bends is that uh, when I put it in there, it'll bend as well. This one's still got a little bit of a curve to it, you can see. Kind of like Tim's got a little curve, you know. You know what I'm saying, guys. Okay, okay guys, uh, I got the gibs. Uh, I got them straightened up a little bit. I mean, obviously we need the angles and we need to uh, tone them down a little bit. Um, in one way, I'm really kind of happy that the brass gives the way that it does because I think with the set screws, it will do a better job. Um, anyway, so here's the two pieces for the two gibs. And obviously we need to mill these and then put an angle on them. Um, and I gotta figure out how to get that exact angle that I'm looking for and smooth these out. But I'm gonna conclude this video and then we'll do another one uh, getting closer to what we need. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, if this is interesting to you, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching.